hello everyone so today uh, we are going to do another packet tracer activity and this one is 5.1.4.4 or 9.1.3 and the name of this activity is to identify mac and ip addresses so this one is the actual table that we need to complete and in the second part we have to answer some questions uh, I'm going to open the packet tracer with the new user. Okay, so this one is the activity layout. This one is a symbol topology, and we have to perform uh, two parts. The first one is we need to get the uh, PDU information, and the second one is the questions. So just move to the first part. The first part is uh, PD information, so we will have to click on the computer. The IP address is 172.16.32.2 and open the command prompt. If we see these are the computers and the IP address that ends with 32.2, uh, this one, just click on that. Go to the desktop and the command prompt and on the com command prompt uh, type the ping ten dot ten dot ten dot three this ip address is mentioned in the part number b this one and hit the enter Okay, we get the response. Now the next part number three is switch to the simulation mode. So this one is the option. We can switch to the mode. Just click on that. And again, repeat the ping. So we will open the computer. This one. To repeat the ping command, we can just type the new command, ping space the IP address, or we can just uh, press the up arrow key and it will repeat the previous command and hit the enter now when we hit the enter we will see this pdu packet on the computer okay now we have to click on this packet and then click on the outbound pdu details and we will see a different details in this section uh, for example the source mac address and the destination MAC address if we go into the IP details and we will see the options like IP version 4 and the source IP address and the destination IP address and we have to use this information to fill the table this one okay now I have the sample table here this one is the first table that is being from this computer to this computer and now we are on this device on this computer the first packet if we see the pdu packet we are still on 172.16.32 31.2 uh, this computer and we have to use this information to fulfill that table and this table the source mic destination MAC address source IP address and the destination IP address so all this information are already there now we have to move the PDU to the next device that is the hub and if we go back into the packet tracer and click on this forward button now this PDU will be moved from this computer to the hub device and now from the hub we just click on this PDU again go to the outbound PDU details and get this information now we have to find the destination MAC address okay the destination MAC address is this one just copy this and paste here 
and a source MAC address. This one is the source MAC address. Right click, copy, and paste here. Okay, now source IP version 4. This one is the source IP. The destination IP. Okay, now we just fill out the hub details. Now go to the switch one. So we need to forward the packet again. So close this and click on forward button. Okay, now the PDU is on the switch one. Click on this. Uh, go to the outbound. Now copy the information and we required here source IP and the destination IP. Okay, the source IP and the destination IP will be the same. So just copy this and it's, it's the same 10.10.10.3. Okay, now go to the router. So we have already information there. Now we need the source and the destination IP on the switch zero. So go back, click on the forward. Now PDU on the router. So we already have the details. Now PDU on the switch zero, click on this packet, go to the outbound and here we need information about the source ip and the destination ip so it will be the same just copy this and the destination ip is 10 10 10 to 3. okay now the next point is the access ap access point okay click on the forward now our PDU on the wireless access point, click on the PDU. Okay, so we are on the PDU information at the access point. Okay, on here, uh, we don't see any changes in the MAC address of the source and the destination. We just copy this information. And if we check the source IP and the destination IP, so these IPs are also the same. So I will copy the same information from the above table. Uh, from here, so the other information are the same. Okay, now go to the last point. We already have the information here. Okay, we just complete the first uh, uh, example table. Now I, I have the another table, so in this table we will ping from uh, this IP dot two to the this IP. Okay, I'm just going to clear the information so we can refill this table. Okay, now starting from the computer, ping from, so the from IP is 10.10.10.2. .10 .10 okay, I just uh, switched the mode from the real time. So now this time our source computer will be this laptop 10.10.10.2 and the destination is dot 3 IP so we will go into the desktop command prompt and command will be ping space 172.16.31.3 okay we just get the ping response now we will switch to the simulation mode click on this and open the computer again and repeat the same command ping to the destination IP okay now our PDU is on the local machine on this source computer we will open this and go to the outbound PDU details and if we go into the table so we are here at this device so the information will be 10.10.10.2 
okay now the destination mac okay now the destination mac will be the first ip just copy this source mac the last ip copy this okay the source ip and the destination ip source ip is 10.10.10.2 10, 10 and the destination ip is 172.16.31.3 okay now we will uh, move forward the pdu to the next stage just click on this button and now our pdu is at the access point again click on this pdu and click on the output details now again the destination address this one copy this its destination mac address now copy the source MAC address uh, we have to change the device name here so it is access point okay now the source and destination IP if we go down the source IP and the destination IP will be the same so just copy the information from the above table okay now we will move the pdu at the next stage just click on that and we are at the switch one sorry switch zero click on the pdu go to the outbound details and go to the table back now we are at the switch zero and the destination mac address so this one is the destination mac address just copy this okay the source mac address this one is the source mac address copy this okay the source ip and the destination ip will be the same here so we can verify under the ip header so source ip and the destination ip so we can copy this okay now we will move the pdu at the next stage so just click on the forward button and now it will be on the router okay so we need to click on the pdu again and the outbound details go to the table and now our device will be the router here and destination mac so this one is the destination address just copy this okay now the source ip sorry the source mac address go here this one is the source mac address copy this and source ip and the destination ip okay source ip and the destination ip are same again so we just copy this okay the next stage click on the next pdu now it is at the switch one now and click on the pdu outbound details this one is the destination mac address just copy this and we are at the switch one switch one we just copy destination mac address so copy paste here and source mac address this one copy this and we can also verify source ip and the destination ip are the same so we will follow the same ip details again okay source ip and the destination ip are the same 
okay now we will move the video at the next device so go again now we are at the hub so click on the PDU output details and now we are at the hub destination Mac and the source Mac so here is the destination Mac address copy this okay the source Mac address copy this uh, this IP will be the same we can verify uh, source IP and destination IP so we are going to copy the IPs again same okay the last device the last device if we move to the PDU again so it will be at a destination device so in our case the destination device was this computer uh, we can see uh, this PDU is discarded at this device because the destination IP was 31.3 so just click on this PDU go to the outbound details now the destination destination MAC address copy this here and the source MAC address is this one we can also verify the source IP and the destination IP so go back the destination IP is dot 3 and the destination IP is dot 2 and the source IP is dot 3 so we will copy the IPs This is the source IP. This one is the source IP and the destination IP. Okay, and the name of the device will be the IP of the computer. So it's 172.16.31.3. Okay, now if we move to the part number two. Okay, so we have. Thank you.